Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have another Divi tutorial related to the Divi Blurb module. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to replace the icon or the image with a font awesome icon. Now, normally you would think you could do this with CSS, but it's not quite that simple. In fact, there's not even any tutorials out there on the web. So obviously you could use the built-in icons in Divi. It's called the ET modules font family, and that's fine, but it's pretty limited. And, and then of course you could certainly upload your own icons as SVG files or PNG files or something like that. But really that, that's still not quite getting what we want. Font Awesome has a lot of really nice icons and it's, it's going to be great to be able to put any of those icons right there in the blurb. So that's really the first step, literally just making sure you have Font Awesome connected. I have another tutorial about that. I'm not going to go in depth in that in this tutorial because I already have um, the, uh, this other one. Yeah, right here. Add Font Awesome to Divi. It walks you through. There's two ways you could do it. You know, they have the CDN. You kind of copy the code. Um, you make your account and then you paste it into Divi theme options. Now there is another option. There is a plugin by Font Awesome. In fact, I'm going to be using that in my demo and it just adds that for you, the CDN. So it integrates Divi with Font Awesome. So that is the first step. Now, the next step will be obviously adding your Blurb module if you didn't have one there, but then adding a custom class to that Blurb module. So in my case, I'm going to use PA Blurb icon. Now, it's just important that you match the icon with the code down below here, okay? So we're gonna be adding a jQuery snippet. That's really the main thing here. You could make it any class that you wanted, but it certainly has to match with that particular blurb module. So here I have a demo site, and I'm just going to be working through this here, adding a simple blurb module to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the blurb module. Now one of the key things besides adding the class, we'll add the class here first of all, in the advanced tab, CSS class, like that. But one of the things beside that would be to make sure that we actually have an icon assigned. So when you go over here to the content tab, image and icon, right here, it's going to have an image by default. So just go ahead and put the icon, um, use icon, put that on. And then the key thing here is to just select anything. You can literally select any of them. By default, there's really none selected, so you see that you have to actually make a selection. Doesn't matter which one, we're not actually going to be showing that icon at all. This is just for something to replace. You can't replace something without something being there, right? So we're replacing this icon now with the font awesome icon of our choice later. So again, we've added the class here and then done the icon thing and then you could do whatever other design adjustments that you want. Now we get to the jQuery part. And like I said earlier, you would think that you could use CSS. Normally you can use um, like a pseudo class, right? Like a before or after, and you can change the font family and the content, right? Normally that would work, but unfortunately that does not work for the Divi Blurb module. So we're gonna be using this very simple snippet. Basically what it's doing, it's it's finding that icon that we have there. It's you know targeting it by that particular class, and then it's removing it, and then it's replacing it with a Font Awesome. Um, we have to go actually grab the HTML from Font Awesome to put it in the snippet, but here's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and copy this, first of all, the snippet of, of jQuery. Now, there's two places we could put this, well, three. Um, we could put it in our child theme if we had like a scripts.js file or something like that. We can put it in theme options right here we say in the integrations tab or we could put it directly in our in our page. So like right here I can go say add a code module like that right and then I can just paste it there like that. The important thing is if you do this make sure it has the script tags um, and also if you were going to use the theme options, you could go here to integration um, and then you know whatever code you have in here, it doesn't matter, but this first box here, add code to the head of your blog, you could paste that right there. Now you certainly don't want it both places. You can go ahead and add it here. For me, I'm going to add it 
on a page just so I can easily show, show you. All right, so the first thing to notice, PA blurb icon. Remember the, the CSS class we added to this module already, so it's matching that. So that's exactly what we want. We're targeting this particular blur module. I could have other blur modules on my site, but I only want to change it on this particular one. And we'll talk about multiple ones later. So what it's doing, it's removing it in the first line. And then we're, you know, um, prepending it. Basically we're, um, replacing the, actually the, the image wrap, the container where that houses the icon. And then we're saying, Hey, add this. And if you look really close here, it says class FAS, this is for font awesome. And then um, FA dash bacon, that's just the, the icon. In fact, let's go here. All right, click on the icons tab. And here you can use any icon that you want. I mean, really just, well, any of the free ones, obviously uh, a lot of times they're the dark ones here. So yeah, let's just say uh, you could pick whatever you want. There's, there's, there's plenty, you can load more. I think there's thousands. Yeah, really. So I don't know. Let's say you want this, this award ribbon here. Anytime you click on any of the icons, you're going to get this area up here. And this is the one we're looking for copy HTML. So you can go ahead and click copy that. And you'll notice it's the I, you know, the HTML. So copy that. And then back here, that's what goes right between the span tag. Okay. So when you're looking at the jQuery snippet, just take a look at the, you know, right between the span tag. That there is exactly what we're pasting in there. Okay. All right. And I want to note something here. When you paste that in, it's going to have a double quote, like right there. It's going to have a double quote and at the end here. And I noticed that it doesn't work um, when that's there. So you just switch that to a single quote, like an apostrophe. If you have if you have that problem, I don't know if you're going to if it's just me or what, but but note that that you may need to do that. Okay, so now we've added this the HTML for this icon. So that little arrow thing is going to be replaced by this bacon icon. So let's take a look on the front end. Here you can see our bacon icon is there instead of the other icons. So that's great. Uh, we can style this. I'll talk about that. But I want to just mention, you know, when you're in the builder. Don't expect it to show now because we're using jQuery. So it's, it's not going to show up here in the builder. Unfortunately, um, that's just, that's just the way it is. Now, if you wanted to use this for multiple blur modules, right? Like let's say you wanted to make one over here and you wanted to, you could give it a custom class, like, like dash two, right? Or you could name it after whatever the icon is going to be, you know, for that one, I think I had award. So let's, let's do this. Let's say that one's called a word. I'll, I'll show it to you because you're more than likely you're probably going to need to I'm trying to find that code snippet here. So what I could do is copy the, the inner parts of this between the script tags. And now I can say PA blurb icon award, right? And then make sure I replace it everywhere. So right there. Now I would go copy that again since it's off my clipboard. And here you can see me doing this in real time. So again, the whole, the issue there for me with that, it seems like it's just the first one too, but I'll do them both. So that one's gonna be a word now. Let's go ahead and show you that. And it doesn't matter again, what your icon is showing there. Here you go. So here I have bacon and an award. All right, so I'm not sure what this website's for, but bacon award. Now here I have a little snippet on the tutorial to get you started styling this thing. Cause more than likely you're going to want to style it, right? Change the size, the color, whatever. So just go ahead and copy that. And you can just put it here in your CSS anywhere. I'm going to show you here on my um, website. So that was targeting PA blurb icon. That's this one here. And for this, I happen to say collar white, the icon collar white. Um, background black, padding 20 pixels, border radius 10, and um, you know font size 48. Now I could I could do two things here. If I wanted them all to be styled the same, I could take this and add a comma, right, and then go back here to the blurb icon for the second one and say award, 
now they're both styled that way. Now I also could just, you know, get rid of, or, or, or I guess not get rid of them. Here, I'll do this. I'll copy the whole thing completely and make sure that I don't duplicate it in the code. All right, so now this one, I might want this to be red and I might want this to be, well, actually let's say I don't want any background, but let's say I wanted to have a border, All right? Something like that. I could do something like that. Looks great. So go ahead and style these however you want. This, that's pretty much it. That pretty much covers um, the tutorial. And I, I know this can be kind of feel like it's maybe a lot of steps or why wasn't it easier? And that's just the way it is. The, we, you know, the way this is working um, to replace this icon. If you want that, that's kind of what you have to do. Yeah, it is a little extra work, but hey, you, you get the advantage of having these great icons in your Divi Blurb modules. I tried to make it as easy as possible for you, and I hope that you appreciate that. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you, I mean, for real, there's no other tutorial for this. So I would appreciate, you know, comment. And if you like this kind of thing, I do it every week right here on YouTube, here on the blog. Um, you can subscribe if you, if that's what you want. Otherwise we'll see you all in the next video.